A bandsaw is used for cutting through large pieces of aluminum, polycarbonate, or plastic. Uh, but not for steel, because the blade on a bandsaw is not strong enough to cut through steel, and the blade will actually deform instead of cutting through the steel. So a bandsaw has two giant wheels. There's one huge wheel over here and one huge wheel under here. And uh, there's a large band-shaped uh, like saw that goes around those two wheels. And there's a motor at the back that powers the bottom wheel. So with this, it can reach significantly high uh, RPMs and be able to cut through plastics, polycarbonates, and aluminum. So uh, there are two ways of measuring up the uh, cut for a bandsaw. You can use blue tape, which simply involves placing a piece of blue tape over the piece of plastic, polycarbonate, or aluminum, drawing the line that you want to cut, and basically freehanding it through the saw blade. But that's not always very accurate, so there's a method which involves setting up a fence. So this basically sets an outer barrier uh, that like regulates the distance between the blade and the fence so that you would get a precise cut. The way you set up a fence is you need a long piece of aluminum like this uh, on the surface of the bandsaw. And then you would uh, take two vices and clamp it down. Well, of course, you would actually need to square it. Uh, which I will show you later after I get the two vices on. Okay, so uh, this is a squaring tool. So with this, I can tell if the if the fence is at a right angle and to the bottom of the platform and it, right now it obviously isn't so with this I can adjust it yeah. so now let's say that I want to cut uh, four uh, three and a half inches from uh, three and a half inches off this plate of poly uh, place of plate of plastic so then I would have to move this while it is squared to be three and a half inches away from the saw blade. Yeah, so now the uh, fence is three and a half inches away from the blade and it is parallel to the blade as well. So now we can push the piece of uh, the, this against the blade and make a cut. So whenever you're pushing a piece of plastic, aluminum, or polycarbonate through a blade, you always want to make sure that you're not uh, holding the piece that you're cutting. Because if you're holding the piece, then you're relying on friction. And if your hand slips, it can go through the blade, and you don't want to lose any fingers. So, uh, with, so to avoid that, you can push it with two other pieces of whatever, you, as long as it's big enough to hold the blade, I mean, hold uh, the piece of uh, whatever you're cutting against the blade. So this is the start switch. So. I made a mistake while positioning the vise. I didn't clamp it down hard enough. So it moved when I tried to push the platform against it. So now I'm going to readjust it. So now I'm going to try to cut it again. So 
for cutting this piece, the blade was about the right height. But uh, for some other pieces, you would have to adjust the height of the guide for the bandsaw. So there's a little lever in here that if you turn, it makes the it makes this whole mechanism loose. And then there's a knob on the back. So you can adjust the height. So if I was cutting a piece that was a lot thicker or a lot taller, I would need to adjust the height to be a lot higher so I'd be able to cut through it. But since this piece was small, it was fine to use a lower setting. So some safety tips. Uh, never, yeah, never actually hold the piece that you're cutting with your fingers. And always wear safety glasses because metal, plastic, and polycarbonate tends to fly everywhere. And it's not, it's not a good idea to get that stuff in your eyes. And always use ANSI certified safety glasses while cutting with a bandsaw.